Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. In today's episode, I'm going to go with you four different ways to tie what they call the basic fishing knot, the clinch knot. Before we get into this though, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Alright everybody, you know what time it is. Let's do this. There are many different ways to tie a clinch knot. It is what is considered the basic fishing knot. It is not the original fishing knot. The original fishing knot is actually called the Palomar knot. I go over that in a video that I did a while back. You can check it out if you'd like. So I'm going to show you how to tie the clinch knot four different ways. The first one is the original most basic way to do it. The next one will be using an overhand knot as the base. Then I'm gonna show you what is called the improved clinch knot. Finally, I'm gonna show you the beast mode version of it, which is called the double clinch knot. All right, so let's get into this. First one we're gonna do is the original version of the clinch knot. All right, so we're gonna tie basic clinch knot. Uh, I've got an 8-0 Mustad J-hook. I've got some trialene. 30 pound test uh, that I'm gonna simulate as my leader and a pair of cutting tools. Okay, so to tie a basic clinch knot, you send your tag end through the eye of your hook. So you end up with this scenario. Tag end over here, main line this way. You pull enough tag end that you're comfortable with. I'm gonna put this over here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap your tag around your main line. I'm gonna do it six times. Some people can do it seven or eight. What you need to do is you need to consider the thickness of the line that you're using and sort of drop down the amount of wraps you do as your line gets thicker. So for 30 pound test, you can do six wraps and you'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, now we're gonna take the, the tag and what has happened from when we were wrapping it around is right in here, you formed a little loop right by the eye of the hook. So now you're gonna to wanna to take your tag end and stick it right back through that loop. Now you'll take it and you're gonna pull on your main line back away against you and it'll cinch itself down. And that's what you end up with. That's a basic clinch knot. Now, what you gotta notice is that the tag end comes out perpendicular from your main line and the eye of the hook. If it's angled down or angled up, you've done it wrong, you'll need to cut it off and start all over. And once you're done with that, what you'll do is you trim it up rather close and you're good to go. This is the version of the knot that I like to use. It's the original. All right, so that was the original version of the clinch knot. I get asked sometimes, hey, what knot are you using on your hooks or on your spro jig or whatnot? Most of the time, I'm using the basic clinch knot like what you just saw. Very strong knot, it's virtually indestructible unless you get hit by a fish with teeth. Now, I'm gonna show you another variation of the clinch knot, which is using an overhand knot as the base to form it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to tie the same knot using an overhand knot as the base. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our tag end through the eye of the hook again. Same scenario. Tag in, main line. All right, it's basically same concept. Only difference is, is before you wrap your tag around your main line, we're gonna tie an overhand knot. Just like this. So we've got that. Now we're gonna cinch that down to the eye of the hook. And now, once you've got that cinched down, you'll take your tag end and you're gonna wrap it around 
your main line. Again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now you don't want to send it back through your overhand knot. You want to send it back through the loop that was created between the overhand knot and the wraps. Same thing. Now we're going to cinch down on it. And again. You want to have this coming out perpendicular. See, now tying this version, you're gonna end up having to pull a little bit and you're gonna get some line warping. So just be careful of that. If it's too badly warped, you'll wanna start over and do it again. But that's what it's gonna look like. We've got an overhand knot right at the uh, eye and then you're wrapped up. And that ain't going anywhere. That's perfectly strong. You're good to go. Again, trim your tag. It's time to go okay, fishing. That was the second version of it, using an overhand knot as the base, and then you sort of wrap it up on top of it. Just as equally strong as the original, just a little different variation. Some folks have been taught it that way since they were kids, and that's how they, they tend to tie it. Now, I'm gonna show you what is called the improved clinch knot. Take a look at it, and you'll see the slight difference. It involves sending your tag end back through the loop that you're gonna form when you before you tighten your do knot. The improved version of the clinch knot, same thing. Send your tag end back through your eye. You're gonna want a bit more tag on this one and you'll see why. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it around six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Now, we're going to send it back through our little eyelet loop. Right there. Now we've got this loop right here from the top of the wraps. And there, and you're going to take it and you're going to send it back through there. So your tag is going to go in this loop right here, back through it. And it will cinch down on itself. So you just take it now. And you start pulling, hold on to the tag on this one. And there you have it. That is the improved version of the, of the clinch knot. Now, okay, that was the improved clinch knot. Um, I tend to shy away from that version of it because I feel that sending your tag in back through the loop that you're creating before you actually cinch it down, it, it tends to make that knot abrasive. Some people like it. It's, it's, when it comes to knot tying, it's all personal preference and you gotta do you know, your research and your exploration and you gotta have your failures and your successes to find out what really works for you and what you like and say, hey, this is the way I'm gonna do this. All right, for the last version of the clinch knot, we're gonna do what is called the double clinch knot. Check it out, here we go. All right, for the final version of this, what you're gonna wanna do is, I'll show you the way that I do it. I push my, uh, my tag end through my eye. You're gonna wanna get a good long tag end and you're gonna send it back through the eye the other way so that you form a loop. So you've got a loop over here. You've got your tag end and your main line. Now you're gonna take this loop and you're gonna wrap it back up around the tag and the main line. Don't wrap it just around your main line. So you're gonna go, you're gonna hold the tag and your main line as you wrap. So you're gonna do again. Now, consider this. 
you have two lines so you don't need to wrap it six times effectively wrapping it three times you will have wrapped your line six times if you do it overkill you will warp the line and you'll probably break it either that or you'll have a really hard time tightening it down so we're just going to go one two and three now we're going to take the loop end which is effectively going to become our tag we're going to stick it right back through the eyelet loop and we're going to grab our tag end and we're going to cinch down and that is how you tie a double clinch knot now what you'll want to do is you're going to cut off you've got the tags here you'll cut off the loop and you're going to cut off what would be your original tag this i think happens to be one of the strongest versions of this knot but it's overkill there you go that's double clinch knot all right so that was a double clinch knot basically it is what it sounds like it's sending two lines up around your main line and going back through so you basically have your line doubled up through the eye of your hook very strong another virtually indestructible knot unless you get hit by something with teeth which is not going to go through your knot it's going to cut through your main line all right folks that about does it for this episode hope you had fun hope you learned something hope to see you next tuesday for the sunday showdown till next time south florida saltwater fishing going wherever the cool wind takes us